Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines on a special Friday evening. Those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. On the screen right now is the right hand man of Plucker. Them call him Stone or Big Stone. Who was shot and injured in the shootout in Philadelphia. Now he and Plucker were shot and injured. Now Stone or Big Stone was shot in his eye and Plucker was also shot in his hand and his foot. Now Big Stone is giving God thanks for being alive. Even though he was shot in the eye, which he could have lost his life. But you see people, this is an ugly event when it comes down to being involved in criminal lifestyle and in the world of badness. And watching the one other organization crumbling slowly but surely like London Bridge is something expected but also a big shocker. Having Roto, who was a one time done in the organization, no turn enemy, sending killers take out and target plucker, as well as his associates and affiliates and also soldiers spell trouble and a big bloodbath in Philadelphia. Now, at first, Rutter was shot by men who were sent by Plucker. And then in return, Plucker was shot in a reprisal by men sent by Rutter. Now, Plucker and Big Stone is now targets once again. Both shot and injured in this internal bloody gang feud in the organization. I told you before in a video a couple days ago that Tisha Miller, the head of this controversy, and that he wants to take out Plucker. Termite, Tickman, other affiliates, persons who are on his death wish to be killed so he can rave supreme of the entire Spain town. As I said before, this is a bitter end and an ugly end when it comes down to the world of badness. And youths, younger youths, emulate these dance these criminal elements and want to be like them one day but they don't know say being a criminal element has a big target on your back not just cops after you but rivals and at the most bitter end is to be killed by your own friends having an internal gang feud where you least expect who is with or against you and I can tell you that this shooting of stone and plucker will have reprisals and one of the most dangerous thing is to have Jamaican gangsters in America warring in the streets now to the police authorities in Philadelphia there needs to be something done about this. Absolutely. We know Philadelphia, aka Philly, is a dangerous state and city. Lots of Jamaican gangsters there. And you know Philly is home to the one other gang. Where you have various members over there. And they are creating mayhem in the streets of Philly. As I said before, serious action needs to be taken against these members of the One Order organization who is hell-bent on turning Philly into a bloodbath. Now, it's alleged that Pluck and Stone were shot at a party where the party was a celebration or alleged memorance for the late one other than Bone Man 
who is the brother of Plaka, was attacked and shot and injured by rivals. Now we head towards John's Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, where last year a mother and her son were murdered by two criminal elements. Now they were Jerome Walters and also his mother, Georgia Coleman. Now their murder case have not been solved. Now I have some information, some alleged information as to who were the criminal elements and why the mother and son were targeted and killed. But before I go into that, let me about the news headlines which took place last year. Now last year July 2023 on a Monday night in John's Road a mother and her son were shot and killed at her business place along John's Road. Now dead is or dead was Miss Georgia Coleman who was in her 50s and also her son who was 21 years of age Jerome Justin Walters. Now that Monday night around 7 45 p.m. 21 year old Jerome Walters who is a bus conductor of railway lane in Spanish Town St. Catherine and his mother were at her business place when two criminal elements rode up on a motorcycle to be exact. Now one of the criminal elements opened multiple fire hitting the two. Now Miss Georgia Coleman ran but collapsed in an unfinished building next to her business place. Now 21 year old Jerome Walters received gunshot wounds to his upper body and also 50 year old Georgia Coleman received gunshot wounds to her upper body as well. Both mother and son taken to Spanish hospital where they were pronounced dead. So far there is no motive as to why they were murdered. The police are investigating. Now so far the case have not been solved by the police. However this case was ongoing up to today. Now I received some alleged information as to why they were killed and the alleged criminal elements behind the attack of the mother and son. I mentioned before these are all alleged information. Now based on information John Walters were friends and linking with a Dan from 91 Lane in John's Road who them call Naturalus based on the information I receive. Now you have the Dan who have made mention time and time again the former Dan of 6 John's Road who them call Rudolph who has crossed over into the Mexican border into the US. Now, it's alleged that Rudolph, the time last year, wanted to get rid of the Dan, Naturalus, who is a Dan for 91 lane in John's Road. Now, he could not get to him. However, Jerome was a tight and close linky with the Dan from 91 lane. And Rudolph wanted control of that lane to be exact. Yes, man. Wanted to be done. Uh, to be done, let's take out the Dan himself. However, Jerome Walters was close. Now, on that night, Monday night, it's alleged that Rudolph 
sent two of his cronies. One who have made mention the videos with them called Chucky. Who was the trigger man? And also Platter. Who was riding the motorcycle on that night? However, they pull up on the scene and Chucky fired several shots at him both mother and son who later on died in the hospital. Now Chucky, I saw the message you sent me earlier today telling me to go and ask my mother. But guess what? Remember, me watch all of your moves then and where you go. I know for sure that every day you go by the St. Catherine High School. After school is finished, look for your girlfriend who is in 11th grade. I know what you're wearing today or wore today. So just know that if these informations are true, as I stated, just know that the police will be coming your way very soon. Because based on information I received, you have been in the streets doing a lot of criminal activities but not being held accountable. This is Jay Crazy. Again, until then, this is safe Friday evening. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity monster movements are flow. Jay Crazy in a play with him and review the thing. Then Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. Jay Crazy in a play with him and review the thing. Then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Jack Crazy